Rubble Run, this is Mr. Rubble Ronin here again, and I think you know what time it is. It is Let's Learn Loop Time. The main poster man himself. <laughs> I've done a Let's Learn for everyone else in the beta, so I thought I may as well with Luke, even though I'm sure basically everyone knows how to play Luke now that he's been in the demo for ages and people have just been labbing the hell out of Luke and Ryu. But hey, for continuity reasons, let's get into it. But it shouldn't be too hard. I'm gonna go over his strengths and weaknesses and his pros and cons, just generally talk about his combos and strengths and strategies, and then we'll take what we've learned and try him out online, because I still haven't actually fought with him online ever. So that should be exciting. Right, starting off with his buttons, let's turn the frame data on actually quickly. Frame meter, uh, completion display, and input history. Yep. Cool. Actually, I don't. I want this one off as well. That's just too much on the screen. Right, so, standing, his light punch is really good. They are really fast, and his standing light punch has his infamous light, light, medium, heavy punch attack string. Super good for getting super easy confirms off of any little poke. And there's a bunch of different things you can do for menders off of it. The most normal one is gonna be your heavy flash knuckle. But if you wanna push the opponent really far away, you can go for like a medium sandblast to just push them to the other side of the screen if you really feel like zoning them out or something. Or you can go for speed run knuckles and then you get brought all the way to the corner from doing that one afterwards. So it's a really, really awesome target combo. It's really useful and it's kind of a keystone piece of his offense. And off of any kind of like counter hit as well, like this, you can link into it. So it's just like the easiest thing that he's gonna be doing all the time when you get any kind of hit, you can be like, oh, I can just go into this. It's not gonna be anything crazy or high damaging, but it's something consistent that I know I can always do and it'll always lead to, lead to something. Right, Crouching Punch is pretty normal. Four frames, it's his fastest button. Everyone has a four framer. Medium punches, he's got this really interesting standing medium punch actually. It's nine frames, but it's really far reaching. And just like his standing light punch, it's kind of got this like step forward and long reaching kind of startup. So standing light punch, like reaching from around here is already pretty crazy, but standing medium punch is even further. It hits from around here, which is really, really crazy for a medium attack and one that has follow-ups. It has a whole target combo that is super easy to hit confirm. And in order to hit confirm this, Basically, you just press medium punch and then hold down back. And after you press medium punch and you're holding down back, you can be like, oh, he's getting hit by it. And then just keep pressing the punches afterwards. Because you want to make sure you don't do this um, if on, on a blocking opponent. Because even the first two hits, completely unsafe. Three hits, very unsafe. Four hits, you're dead. So make sure you're doing this hit confirming stuff where you just press it and then hold down back just to make sure you're just reacting to it, you're like, oh no, he definitely did not get hit by that. And if he did, I can be holding down back and keep pressing the buttons and it doesn't matter, I don't have to. I can hold down back and it still comes out. So that's really good. And also, the first and second hit of the string can be cancelled into supers. So if I have a lot of meter, I might be going for the same thing, where I'm just trying to hit confirm it into the first two, like, two hits and stuff and just see if I actually get hit by it, otherwise I'll just block. But Instead of going for the full attack string, I see that it hits, and then I go into a super. So I'll go into level 1. And because your level 1 and level 2 supers are on your punch buttons, it's really easy to just do down forward, down forward, medium punch. So it's just like you're doing the attack sequence. You just keep pressing medium punch, but this time you're just mashing down forward, down forward while you do it, or down back. So it's super, super, super easy to input and leads to pretty nice damage from just random hits off of a really long reaching um, button. So just getting these little bits of damage after like, ooh, walking back and forth, back and forth, ooh. Ba -da -da -da. Bam, that ends a lot of rounds. Then his crouching medium punch is actually also a really, really good attack. As you can see, it's plus five on hit, which means it can link into his five frame standing light kick or his crouching light punch, but light kick reaches further. So even if I'm not right in front of Jamie's face, um, I can still connect, which wouldn't happen with my crouching light punch, as you can see. Uh, from a distance, it'll kind of just whiff. But my standing light kick has a better chance of whipping. It still can from absolute max range, but it has a better chance. And because it's cancelable, I can just go into a, a flash knuckle, which unfortunately actually also has an even higher chance of whipping, so it's more better to go for the meter burn one. 
for the OD, EX, OD. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> and not only is this move really good just as your general combo extender, it's also really good on block. It's your probably your main pressure tool because it's plus one and it's a six frame startup. So a six frame button, which is basically, yeah, it is the same speed as your standing light punch. Super fast button that's plus one block. So you can abuse this so much. Jamie wishes he had a button like this. His standing medium punch is plus one, but I think it's like eight or nine frames startup. Luke's not the case, and he can really, really easy get buttons after it. It's super, super, super good. So you can frame trap into your standing light kick. I think you can even frame trap into yourself, into itself if you're close enough. So I mean, kind of. Mm, not really. You can do that into this, that into this. There's just a lot of really good options. Or of course, you know, classic plus and block things. Just walk up, go for a throw. How do you keep looping it into itself? You go into other buttons, or you go for a throw. It's it's really good, and because it's so plus on hit and on block, that also makes it your obvious drive rush button, because if they get hit from a drive rush, then you're like plus nine, so you can hit basically anything, any button you want, even though probably the main one you'd be going for is this. But then also, if you drive rush any opponent blocks, you'll be hella plus and block as well. So you can also go for anything you like. You can walk forward, go for it again. It's, it's really good. You can even like go for an overhead if you feel like being really risky. I don't know. But it's a really good button. Really, really good. Your light kick, I mentioned before, just is mainly a button you're going to use to extend off of your crouching medium punch just because it's such a good button. But your standing light kick on its own is also really good. I think it's possibly even better than Ryu's standing light kick. The range seems really far. He's got long toes. And unfortunately, oh no, he actually can. So the Daigo special where you do standing light kick and just buffer in a drive rush. So either on block or on hit, you get pressure or a combo. Luke can do that. And yeah, after that, he can just dash in, crouching light punch. Get some cool combos going that way, just off of a simple standing light kick in neutral. And it's so safe, so it's definitely not going to get hit by any drive impacts or anything. It's a really, really good attack. You can throw this out, throw this out, and throw out this. If they try to whiff punish you, really good button. Crouching light kick, on the other hand, very short range. Um, I don't think I'm going to find myself using it too often, especially when you've got this as an option, and this reaches so much further, and you've got these other buttons, just who needs this low? Okay, uh, <laughs> that felt kind of mean, <laughs> I don't know why. His uh, standing medium kick is also, I feel like I'm saying this about a lot of his buttons, are all of Luke's buttons really good? But his standing medium kick is also really, really good. It's a super fast, really good poke in neutral, and it is just that, it's a poke, it's not cancelable into any supers or, you know, specials or anything, so it's just a poke that is fast and has decent recovery and it's super safe not only just because you know it has enough stun and recovery to keep itself at minus three but also has a wild amount of pushback if i do this just at a regular range like over here and i'm trying to space it out look i'm pushed like to the other side of the screen this thing has so much pushback on it so it basically resets the neutral if the opponent blocks this thing so it makes it a super good poke just to throw out and make the opponent respect you it's really good and especially in tandem with all these other long-reaching buttons you have that actually um, start your offense. Oh no, I'm going into a match. I'll see you soon. Hello? I can't press any buttons, but I can move. Please, set me free. I didn't want to fight. Okay, well, after that rude interruption of someone actually wanting to play the game, where were we? We are talking about sending medium kick. Basically, it's a really great poke. Really fast, really long-reaching, and really, really safe. Let me put on this frame meter again. And... Oh. Right, okay. Now, Crouching Medium Kick, like a lot of characters, it's very good. Has pretty decent range. I think it's kind of average or slightly above average. But um, it doesn't have the extreme low profiling that some characters like Jamie and Jury have. But it's still a Crouching Medium Kick, so it's still going to be one of your main pokes in neutral. Because, you know, it can be cancelled. It catches people walking back and forth doing the footsies. So you're going to get this, drive rush, and go for your combos off of it. Or you can just press it and go into your sand blasts. Not rising uppercuts, it's a little risky. But generally, it's a really good button, and that's about it. His, uh, oh yeah, he's got an overhead with his forwards medium punch. 
Plus, slightly plus on hits, so you can go for a throw afterwards. After a drive rush. Plus enough to go into your triple impact target combo. Just get a nice little combo, bring you to the corner. Nice bit of damage for a simple overhead. Standing uh, heavy punch is also just like his light and medium punches. His heavy punch is also really long reaching and forwards advancing. I think it's even, or no, the medium punch is certainly the best, but heavy punch is really good. And what makes it better is that it's actually cancelable. So I can go into my specials or into a drive rush to actually extend combos or make myself safe from like a drive impact or something if I see them drive impact. So basically it's like a, a safer version of your standing medium punch and a higher damage potential version. Because you can dash cancel into all your combos. And also, because it's a really good tool in neutral and stuff, like just because it you know reaches so far and you will hit it while you're walking back and forward and stuff, if you get a counter hit because the opponent tries to press a button or punish counter or whatever, the added hit stun lets you go for a fully charged um, light flash knuckle. You don't even have to get the perfect hit and you just, on a counter hit, it just combos easily. So you'll get that combo kind of a lot and you can kind of feel when it's going to happen. When you're doing this back and forward and you go for it, you can kind of tell like, oh my opponent did a button or I punished them or I just feel like it's going to happen. You can just dial into your, your flash knuckle. And off of the punish counter version, I think if you perfectly charge, you can get the medium version as well. No, maybe not. But anyways, it's a really good button and its cancelability makes it really good either just to keep it safe, to keep it safe from drive impacts, or to extend combos. Then it's got forward heavy punch as well, and this is his other pressure normal, but it's, it's kind of his more um, gimmicky pressure plus tool, whereas this is like super easy to enforce. It's 6 frames, this is 16 frames, but it is a lot longer reaching. So whenever you feel like you have the time to go for a long reaching plus on block normal, just use this. It's plus two, so slightly more plus than this one. And it leaves you kind of close to the opponent because where this one doesn't have any advancing and it pushes you guys far further away, this one brings you in close to the opponent. So you're really close. You can go straight into a throw or straight into a poke or a low, whatever. It, it, it's really good, really, really good. And it does have a target combo afterwards as well. If you just press the button again while holding forwards, it's really easy to hit confirm. Like, I can tell you how late I'm pressing it, so the button, follow up. Button, follow up. Button, follow up. So it's super easy to see if it actually hits the opponent and be like, oh, they blocked it. Because if they block it, you don't want to do the follow up because the follow up's very unsafe. But you want to leave it after the first hit because you're plus. So you just be like, oh, they blocked it? Cool, I'll go for a grab. Oh, they didn't block it? Oh, let me just get that follow-up and get a little bit of a knockdown and some more damage. And I don't think it's special cancelable, even though all the footage that they keep showing in the, um, in the matchmaking area, whatever you call that with all the things, keep showing the footage of him doing this and then cancelling into the charge. And like, that's not something he can do anymore. You guys are just rubbing in the face, in our faces that you've already nerfed him. It's so rude. But yeah, it's a cool, cool normal to go for maybe like on wake up or after maybe they've blocked this, then you can go for this. Just to like reset your pressure and just be a little bit more gimmicky with more plus frames. It's just a cool, cool way of enforcing plus frames. And now he, heavy kick. He's got, I don't know, it's kind of a very unique heavy kick because it's um, really, really changes depending on how you use it. You can kind of use it like when you're in the neutral going back and forward from each other because if you hit it really late it can become plus five and then you can actually link into stuff like your standing light kick but if you close it kind of just leaves you close enough to go for a throw but the point of it is that it has a lot of active frames for a regular button usually buttons only have like two or three active frames but this one has six which means that you can hit it really late and as you saw there i hit it on the last active frame and it's plus seven and this means it's also really good um, during knockdowns. So, a situation that I know works pretty well is if the opponent does a back roll after my triple impact combo, it kind of spaces it out perfectly to make it plus. 
So as you can see there, let's, I'll go on the other side so we don't get too close to the corner. If I just do a dash in and I go for this, it hits on the last active frame and I'm plus seven. So that means I can go into this and then go into whatever corner combos or whatever, which is kind of cool. But it also means that if the opponent is blocking, I am, I'm only zero, but uh, because <laughs> Then you can mash afterwards and then pray that your nice long reaching 4 frame normal will beat theirs. But, uh, also if you use it in drive rush, it become, can become very plus if you hit it late. But the only bad thing about it is that if they block it up close, it's actually punishable because you hit it on the first active frame and then yeah. So that's not so good. But it, it has cool potential. And also if it hits as a punish counter, it's got a unique effect where it launches the opponent really high into the air for some reason. So you just can go for a heavy DP. So that's kind of cool for just a super, super easy confirm into a bit of damage from a punish counter. And then back heavy kick is kind of, um, it's sort of, it could be used in the neutral, but I wouldn't really recommend it. It's very slow, like 40 frames total duration, very easy to punish, very susceptible to drive impact because it's not cancelable, but it could be used as a long range anti-air, but it is a little bit slow for that as well. So that's a tentative, <laughs> tentative at best as a long range anti-air. But one thing it is good at as is being a uh, combo fodder, either as a combo starter for a, a punish counter or after drive rushes. So as a punish counter, this also has a unique effect where the opponent kind of gets like spun around and he can actually dash up um, with a drive rush and extend combos. They're stunned for so long. So yeah, long enough to even get like a slow button. What about um itself? No, okay. You can... So if I get this... I can dash in and do whatever combos I want and it's... It's not something you have to cancel, like you can be like, oh, that definitely happened, and then I drive rush. So you don't have to confirm anything, you can just easily dash in and go for combos afterwards, which I think is pretty cool. There's not many moves that have that kind of effect in this game. And also, I'm sure you've seen, in combos, it's really good uh, after your drive rush, but only after, like, heavy hits into a drive rush. Like, if you know you got to punish and you're going for something like this, then it'll work. But if you're doing it after a crouching medium kick, not only will it not combo, but it's also not really good, um... What am I doing? Like, if it gets blocked, it's not plus at all. So it's only a drive rush button that you want to do when you know you've gotten a hit and you're just cashing out for a maximum damage combo. So, yeah. And then I think we've covered all of the normals. And for jumping attacks, um, nothing too interesting. The jumping uh, heavy kick actually is pretty good for being deep and long reaching. It's kind of the perfect angle he puts his leg out there, which is really good. But then his jumping heavy punch is actually just really good and can be done super, super high in the air to hit right below him and bonk him on the head. So much. It is slightly better than the jumping heavy kick if you're jumping really close to them and you want to hit them early on. And his jumping medium kick and his jumping light kick both work for cross ups, I believe. Yeah. So that's good. And it also has really long range, his jumping medium kick. He flails that leg completely horizontal. So that's really good. Now, that's all his buttons. Now for his specials, obviously, he's got his sandblast, his shoto, so he's got projectiles, a DP, and some kind of combo fodder. So, his projectiles, light version, is the fastest, travels the least distance, medium version, travels further, heavy version, travels even further, nearly full screen, but it is the slowest, and OD version, travels completely full screen and knocks down, but it is also really fast. It's actually in between the, the light and the medium version. And there's another follow-up from the OD version where you press forwards and OD again and you spend another entire bar of meter and it just does a little bit extra damage if you... and you get a longer knockdown. So if you know that it's gonna hit, like maybe the opponent's done something full screen, maybe Jamie's over there drinking, so I can do this and I'm like, oh, I actually really want to get a little bit more damage and get the knockdown. Maybe it kills, or maybe I'm gonna use the knockdown to drive rush in or something. I don't know. But you have that option, you may as well remember. <clears throat> also, not only do the 
projectiles get uh, like increased distance as you make it from light to medium to heavy, but they also get uh, increased like stun on the opponent. And like what I mean is basically just if they block or get hit by it, like from point blank, this one's minus three, this one's zero, and this one is plus. And that also goes for their safety. So if I use them like from a little bit of distance, this one's like kind of safe. This one's totally safe. And this one, I think it becomes plus. And then using them off of buttons, this one's like, uh, yeah, basically safe, kind of punishable. This one, totally safe. Not that. But as you can see, there's a gap there, so that you could maybe be drive impacted, so you have to be wary of that. And this one, you're actually plus, which is pretty good, but there is a gap, so just be careful. But if you're going for a gap, you may as well make it big enough like of a gap to make yourself plus on block. So I suggest either going for the heavy punch version one to keep yourself plus, or doing the light punch one version. Ugh, but no, that's really unsafe. I don't recommend going for that. I take it back. I take it back. I recommend going for the OD version, actually. If you're not sure of what's going on, the OD version has no gap or it recovers fast enough that drive impacts don't connect with you so if they do mass drive impact particularly after something like your triple impact here and you try to go into your your sandblast to keep yourself safe the opponent can drive impact let's just show it off because this is kind of important to him so block reversal common moves drive impact so he's good doing a drive impact as soon as he can my light version just gets completely blown up, and obviously any of my other versions will as well. Even though they're plus on block, they do not beat a drive impact. But if I go for the OD version, I can block in time, and obviously it's really easy to react, so I can actually just do my own. And then get combos going that way. Um, so yeah, OD is basically the only way you can keep yourself safe, especially after something like your triple impact. Any other way you try to keep yourself safe, particularly off of this. Um, doesn't really work, but we'll get to that. We're talking about projectiles now, and I think we're done talking about projectiles. So this is your safe option, but yeah, it does cause a bunch of, cost a bunch of meter. But don't do the follow-up on block because it's very unsafe, even from far away, and particularly from up close. The DPs are pretty simple. They just work like DPs. Unfortunately, they go kind of straight up, so there's not much horizontal distance on them. Which is really good if the opponent is jumping really close to you and then maybe doing a neutral jump or trying to jump over you or something. Like this light version just goes straight up. The heavy version does have a little bit more horizontal range, but it's still nothing big like a character like Jury or um, certainly not Guile's Flash Kick or whatever. So it's certainly serviceable and I actually take it back. The heavy punch version actually looks pretty nice. But the light and medium punch versions are very, very vertical. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. No diversion. Yeah, I take it back. It's totally fine. It's totally a good DP. Invincible against aerial attacks, so no matter how late you do it against your opponent's jump-ins, um, it'll beat them as long as you just are able to input a DP motion while they're in the air. You'll be totally safe to beat their jump-ins. And the OD version is completely invincible, and you can actually press the two punch buttons again, and he'll do this little slam down. So you get a little bit more damage, and is it better? Frame advantage? No, you get your plus 25 here. So I guess if you're mid-screen and you want to stay close to the opponent, you can do this. No, but you can kind of just dash in after that. I don't know. You get a little bit damage and you're left closer to the opponent, so you can go for something like this. I also do have him recovering backwards. That would make a difference. If they don't do that, then yeah, he's right in front of you. Cool. Now... Uh, we'll do the Flash Knuckles next, last, because that's kind of his main thing. But I think the only other special move is, yeah, this weird, this weird kind of run thing. So, um, it's kind of a run, but don't treat it like a run like Ken or Kimberly's, because they can cancel their run and actually use it for interesting mix and stuff like that. Luke's is a little bit more gimmicky. He can use it in combos as a really good way of ending combos because it's a really good ender and he can get, I believe, a safe jump off of this. Whoops. Plus 32, wait, maybe. No. Anyways, uh, <laughs> when he ends combos in it, it's good. So that's one way that people are going to be using it most of the time, especially since it has all this corner carry when he jumps across over onto you. 
really, really good for that and has a decent knockdown. I'm not sure about the safe jump or not. So, yeah, the move is done by doing down forward kick and you can either press punch to do this kind of like shoulder charge or you can press a kick and he'll do this overhead flip kick. And that's all it can do. The, the punch version, as I mentioned, is really good for ending combos because it's, it's extremely plus on hit and has a lot of corner carry and you can jump in and get some pressure or you can just, you know, dash in, go for your plus on block. See, that was actually, that was actually really meaty there. He only had two frames. We could have done for a DP or anything, but he couldn't match me out of that. So, really good knockdown, but in neutral, not so much. It's not something you really want to be using. And even though it does have a lot of active frames, like it can hit late, the only thing that that's possibly useful for is if you manage to hit it um you can maybe get a dp off of it maybe but it's nothing worth going for um in my opinion because it doesn't become plus and block no matter how late you hit it or you can just never hit it. And you see, it can become safe, but as far as I'm aware, it doesn't become plus. Minus one, yeah, really, really close, but not plus, which is very, very sad. I thought that would be a really cool idea. Um, yeah, the overhead flip kick basically is just kind of a gimmicky overhead. What is kind of interesting about it though, is that it's basically full screen. Even if you do barely any of the run, this is it. as quick as I can input it, it goes nearly all the way full screen to Jamie. So I just have to do a tiny bit of the run and this flip kick goes full screen. And also when you do the OD version of the run, you can actually get a DP off of this overhead, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so that's kind of cool. So. Do you ever feel like just suddenly running in and going for a full screen overhead? You think the opponent's trying to do something weird? Just run in, go for a flip the entire screen and run in, get a DP. That's kind of cool. The overhead actually has better potential for getting plus on block, surprisingly. It can, it's a little harder to show, but it does have the potential to be plus if it's really, really meaty. Um, particularly the OD version. So that was minus four. What if I do the... Minus two. I believe it has the potential to be plus. Maybe that's wrong. But the... Yeah. So the moves themselves are a little bit underwhelming unless they're used for combos or gimmicky neutral game. But the one thing that can be kind of applicable about this is the fact that the OD version has armor. I'm not sure how to just show this. Maybe I'll, I'll have him wake up and do something. He'll wake up and do a, I don't know, maybe a heavy punch, heavy kick. As you see, I get one hit of armor and I just keep running and I can do the follow-up as long as the thing is still active and I get a super easy punish counter and this can be kind of good because they are special moves and if you're in the third round the last round there's a good chance that you'll have meter to go for either a level two or a level three because this is the OD version you will be able to cancel into your level two which scales quite a bit, but the total chunk of damage for armoring through one of your opponent's buttons is pretty cool. And one time that I think this is actually really, really useful, and it's probably the instance that I use this the most, is at round start, because people love to go for drive impacts or some big normal on round start. So just going for this on round start actually works surprisingly well. So pretend this is round start. You actually do armor through the drive impact. And depending on the timing, you either just get a punish because the uh, throw recovers, or you can just do the follow-up just to get the knockdown and some corner carry. But yeah, depending on when it happens, you might be able to get a full combo punish. Oops. And yeah, depending on what's going on, you can maybe punish with different things. 
which is really, really cool. And uh, yeah, a little bit of a fun thing to use. So if your opponent has any like slow normals or big things they like to throw out in neutral, including a drive uh, impact, you can throw this out and maybe you'll catch, catch them going for it. And the last big thing we have to talk about with Luke is his flash knuckles. He's got three different versions for his three different buttons. The light version knocks the opponent down. Uh, oops, you can stop doing that now. <laughs> light version is kind of your combo filler. It knocks the opponent down, knocks him away. It's a pretty decent knockdown. You can get a dash up, go for some kind of plus unblock normal, like this or this. So really good way of just super easily ending your combos. It's a lot easier to input than some characters like to go for DPs after their pokes. That's a little bit tricky to input, but just going down back into punch after pressing punches is really, really easy. Medium punch version. Oh no, I'm about to join a match. No. Here comes a new challenger. So yeah, the light knuckle, it's a good knockdown off of your lights. Simple way to end combos, super, super good. Now every one of his charged knuckles, of his flash knuckles, sorry, has a fully charged and a perfect charged version of itself. So if you hold down the button the whole way, as you can see, it launches the opponent super high into the air. But if I hold it down for the perfect amount of time, where he has that little flash on his fist, and he'll yell, perfect, and it's just a little bit shorter than the full held version. It's really hard to time um, at the beginning, so it takes a little bit of practice to get used to it. But when, when you get used to it, it kind of becomes like a muscle memory, knowing how long to hold it down for. And you want to learn how to do the perfect version because it makes the juggles even better. So I'll be Here comes a new Bro, are you kidding? Okay, I'm going to try and hurry it up so I don't get interrupted again. So, the fully charged version of his light charge knuckle, as you can see, launches the opponent into the air, and then you can use this to go for juggles. If you do the full charged version, you can easily go into your medium flash knuckle as a simple combo ender, or if you're closer to the corner, you can do a sandblast into a DP. But if you do the perfect version of the charged knuckle, you can get some kind of cooler combo extensions, because you can drive rush into a perfect version of your medium flash knuckle, and this is where his combos start to get really flashy. So, if you can time the perfect version, which maybe right now I cannot. As you can see, you can get some really cool extensions like that. You can get kind of similar things. If it has the full charge version accidentally, you can still get a drive rush. I think the best combo you can do is a drive rush, heavy kick, into a medium DP. So you do get a little bit of an extra extension than just going for this. Or, um, you could also just go Drive Rush into that, or Drive Rush into anything, basically. Like that, that has a bunch of corner carry. Seems pretty good, too. Now, that's the Light Punch version of his Flash Knuckle. The Medium Punch version, on its own, leaves the opponent standing. They get in this staggered state, but they're left really close to you, and if I turn back on the frame data again, you can see that they're your left plus, right in their face. A plus, plus three, so you can take a micro step forward and grab them super easily. So if somehow you mess up the charge for this one and don't get the perfect timing, um, you can go for some strike throw mix. And you're also you're left in range, you know. His strike throw is really potent because he has this plus unblock six frame normal, which is really, really good. But if you do hold down this, you get this massive wall bounce effect where you can get a bunch of different types of combo enders. You can go for your heavy heavy flash knuckle or you can go for your shoulder charge that we talked about before. And if you get the perfect timing, you can go actually into your light charge perfect knuckle. Nope. And you get all three of them in one combo, which is super, super satisfying. And the same thing goes with this one, if you do the full charge version, or the perfect one for that case, but with the perfect one you can do meterless combos. You can do a drive rush from this, and then do you drive rush into heavy punch, and then you go full charged light punch, and you'll get this combo. Which is really, really cool. And 
just to mention what you're going to be getting these off of, the, the button, the only button that you'll be using to go into these Flash Knuckle combos is your Crouching Heavy Punch. Crouching Heavy Punch can combo into your fully held down light um, Flash Knuckle, but it won't go into the fully held version of your medium Flash Knuckle. The medium one, you have to time perfect and get the perfect version in order to combo. And that way, you'll get some really cool meterless combos, but it will be a little bit harder. So if you're not confident in your charge abilities, I recommend you go for the Light Punch version one, because that will at least combo, and you'll get something from it. Even if it's not the most amazing combo, you'll still get something kind of cool. And you can even extend these just by going into the OD version. As you can see, the OD version kind of has the same launch as the Light Punch version, but it ha comes out a lot faster than the health version of the Light Punch, which means that it's a really good uh, extender off of little pokes. So even off of my crouching Light Punches, this connects. And I can combo and it brings me all the way to the corner. And this makes it also a really good connection off of something like your standing light kick that you get after this. And also off of this, because it gives so much corner carry in the air, you can actually go for the heavy flash knuckle afterwards. It's just a really good way of adding some extra extensions into your already extended combos. So that's light and medium flash knuckle. The heavy version actually doesn't go into combos at all. Well, technically, this is something that I like to do a little bit, but I like to do the heavy version and then um, in the neutral, and if it hits, because it's two hits, I can easily cancel into a level three and that does tons of damage. But technically, it's not really used to extend combos normally. But it is basically your prime combo ender. As we saw, we end our combos with it after this target combo, because it leads to a nice long knockdown, so you can get a dash in, go for your plus one block normals and stuff. And it also works really well after your flash knuckles, because it works just the same. And you're not really going to be using the charged version of it very often. And unless you're using it for the gimmicky way that it can be used, where it's actually the only version of the charged knuckles that is safe. So as you can see, this version, minus 18, medium punch, minus 10. Even the fully charged versions are still like minus 8. Oh, that one's actually minus three, which is kind of cool with a bunch of pushback. So that fully charged version of the one is safe, but usually they're very unsafe and you don't want to do them. But the heavy punch version actually is minus four and with certain ranges is basically unpunishable, which is kind of cool. And if you charge it, fully charged version is plus four. And I think the perfect version okay, is also plus four. It just does a little bit more damage, I suppose. So that is really cool, and it leads to some really, really interesting ways of going for gimmicky ways to force your plus frames. So not only does he have this like actual proper way of going for plus frames with this six frame crouching medium punch, but he has this long lunging um, forwards heavy punch to get plus two, or he can do this really long reaching special move that leaves him plus four. And he can just do this one in the neutral, and he can even cancel it off of other buttons. So if you do something like you're standing a uh, heavy punch and you don't think it's actually going to hit the opponent, I can just cancel it into this and decide that, hey, I want some plus frames, and I bet you're going to be patient and block this so I can continue my offense. So it's a really cool way of just calling out your opponent, and it is actually even stronger if you're using it later on in the games, uh, particularly when you have level 3 meter. Why is that? I think it's pretty obvious, but I will still show anyways. I need to get this up again. Um. It can be super, super easy to react to a drive impact and then put your level 3. Because of all the slowdown that happens from these two hits, you're like, oh, oh god, the drive impact. Let me go for my level 3, and you go straight through it which is really cool. And technically, it's able to like delete some projectiles as it flies forward, it can like hit them during the punch, but I haven't found that to be very consistent, so I don't recommend going for that. But basically, it's just another cool way of going for plus frames, which is, you know, kind of, you can see how it could happen. Like when I'm walking around here, throwing out, oops, not that, throwing out projectiles and stuff, and my opponent's trying to, you know, they're getting a little antsy, they're trying to find ways to get in, and then suddenly I just go for this and fling myself towards them, and suddenly I'm flussing in their face. It can really catch people off guard. So I recommend trying it out and seeing where it works for you. 
but those are his Flash Knuckles, and that's now all of his special moves. Quickly for his combos, please stop blocking. Level 1, down for down for punch. It's a projectile super, reaches pretty far away, so if your opponent is trying to throw a projectile or something and you react to them doing something, you can use this in the neutral to punish them for doing it, but it's also just a super easy way to extend your combos, whether it's just off of this to add damage, off of this target combo to add damage, or after your flash knuckle combos. Ahem. <laughs> Come on, come on, I can do this. No! So yeah, even off of just the regular charge one, you can easily go into it. Nice way of adding damage, and it works basically everywhere. The other super, level 2, is not so much easy to use everywhere, because it has an incredibly small hitbox, and you have to be right in front of them in order for it to work. That's why I basically exclusively use it off of my medium punch attack string, or if I know I've done an EX special move like this, and I know I can cancel into it, otherwise it's just too risky. You can kind of maybe use it in juggles, but it has to be the perfect distance, otherwise it just won't work. So I suggest just cancelling into it, otherwise don't. And level 3, he actually travels pretty far while he does this. Not particularly fast, but he, he'll run really, really do -do 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 walking up to you. Which is really good if the opponent has uh, projectiles with a lot of recovery. Unfortunately, I'm against Jamie here, so I can't show that. But if someone throws out... I don't know, maybe I'm, I'm against Luke and he throws a heavy sandblast. Or someone throws a Hadouken or something with a lot of recovery. I can react to them trying to go for it and throw this out. And I'll run straight to the projectiles because it's fully projectile invincible. And, like, regularly completely invincible during the startup. And you just run in, hit him, punish him. Bob's your uncle, you get a ton of damage. And obviously it's a lot easier, it's even easier than the level 1 to cancel into because you can do it off of the actual, like, this, when you end your combos. So off of the exact same combos. You can go into level 3, no problemo. So, that's all of his moves. Let's quickly talk about what combo links he's going to be going for, and then I think we can head online before we get interrupted again. <laughs> so, main combo links, obviously. Target combo into your heavy flash knuckle is your classic. Go into this, dash in, and you have to... When you dash in, just react to see if the opponent does a back roll, and if they don't go for a back roll, just dash in and kind of sit patiently because you'll be left slightly outside of their... Like, just take a step back and wait patiently here outside of their grab range. So if they DP, you block it, and you can't get hit by their throw. And, you know, if they end up just doing nothing, then you just use your crouching medium punch, and you start your pressure, because this is plus and block, so you can do that into crouching medium kick or something. And if they do a DP, well then, you get to do a big boy combo. I just realized I also forgot to mention this uh, normal, whoopsie. It's kind of an auto shimmy, so if, if you're walking up to the opponent and trying to do the walking back and forth and stuff, this is just like an automatic walk back, so it will make their throw whiff, and then you get a big punish counter if they did go for their throw. And then you can link into stuff super easily. Cool stuff. But, uh, yeah. Target combo into the into this, and then take a step back, wait patiently, go for this, or you can just walk forward, go for a throw, but if they do roll backwards, you can either go for your forwards heavy punch, which isn't as meaty, but you know, it's a plus unblock normal, and it flings yourself forward, so it gets yourself closer to them, or I like to go for standing heavy kick, because it becomes plus 7 at this range, and it becomes 0 on block. So it's a really cool way of getting the really beady version of it. And... Yeah. Off of... That's like your main, like, simple combo extender, and when you're starting out with Luke, you're kind of going to be going into that a lot, because you'll notice all of your little pokes 
you can like fish and like be like, oh, that was a counter hit, then go into this. Oh, this was a counter hit, I can go into this. Oh, this was a counter hit, I can go into, actually, I think so. Can I? Oh, it's plus four, never mind. I can't do that. I can go into that. Can I do it off of this? No. Can I do it? Okay, I can't do it off of much else. Maybe this from a distance. But you're going to be going into that a lot, basically. So there's also the option of going into your other options, like you can do medium sandblast if you want to zone them out. Or a medium flash knuckle will leave them in the perfect range for your uh, heavy sandblast, I believe. And it'll hit them pretty meaty if you just delay it a tiny bit. Just a little bit more. Just, uh, okay, a lot more? Yeah, so it'll hit them really meaty if you're in the perfect range for this. And you can also spend two bars of meter on this to bring yourself closer to the corner and do more damage. Basically brings you straight to the corner from round start distance and only costs you two bars. I don't suggest doing any kind of like drive rush cancels, even though you can. It scales a combo a lot and it's kind of just wasting some drive meter. So if you really want to spend meter, just do this. Then off of this button, which you'll be pressing a lot of, make sure you realize that when it hits, you can either go into a, a little punch, like your crouching light punch that is, or if you're further away, you can go into your standing light kick, and you can go into this kind of stuff if you feel like spending meter. Also, I forgot to mention that you can do this. If you press the meter run buttons again after your uh, OD flash knuckle, you just do a bunch of damage and leave them close to you. But if you know how to do combos, it's not worth it. And yeah, also make sure you're paying attention because you're going to be using this as pressure tool a lot. Make sure you know that, oh, I get a counter hit. Cool. I can go into this, bring them to the corner. Bob's your uncle. I'm getting pressure. And um, also with this tool, you're going to be fishing for counter hits a lot. And then you can go into your flash knuckle combos. And for your drive rush combos, um, you've got two options. You're either going to drive rush into crouching medium punch, into crouching heavy punch. Or if you get a bit of a more substantial hit, like your standing heavy punch, you can do your back heavy punch hit, which will just add more damage generally. And if you're not sure if the opponent gets hit, then I suggest just going for this because it's a lot more plus, because the other one actually isn't plus. So you can go for some cool pressure that way. If you get a drive impact, you can just go straight into your crafting heavy punch and get whatever flash knuckle combos you want to go for. And off of the drive rush flat in the corner, the exact same thing applies. Oh, actually, I wanted to quickly talk about corner combos. We're not done yet. <laughs> so, in the corner, his flash knuckle, you don't just have to go. Like, mid-screen, you don't have too many options, but in the corner, you're left very close when you get this juggle. So you can go into a one of your projectiles. Usually, it works best to go into the medium version and then a medium DP after a fully charged one. But if you do get a perfectly charged uh, light flash knuckle, you can go into your heavy, your heavy projectile into a uh, medium DP. Actually, I think you can go into a heavy DP. Maybe not. Yeah, you can. You just have to be a little bit faster than I am. And if you, um... Also, if you get a, like, your OD projectiles will combo into a DP now, because we're in the corner. So just make sure you're paying attention if you use those, maybe to keep yourself safe when the opponent is actually getting hit, and just cash out for a little bit more damage and go for those. If you use, if you're trying to go uh, spend a little bit more meter, you can drive rush your combos in the corner. And I suggest if you do the, if you don't get a perfect, then you just do the fully charged. Then you go drive rush, crouching heavy punch into a heavy projectile into a heavy DP. That's a bunch of extra damage from like, you would get it from something like this. Oops, that was perfect. 
So that's a cool bunch of free damage for only a single drive gauge. And if you get perfect, you may as well just go into the heavy projectile, into the heavy DP, because that's similar damage and it doesn't cost you any meter at all. And okay, now that we've talked about all those combos, I think that's all we really need to know before we try them out online. So, where's the person that's trying to interrupt me now? Now we can actually fight against them. Let's see you there. Here comes a new challenger. Okay, perfect. First match is against the Shoto man himself, Ryu. But I'm the new and improved Shoto in town, so... Chat. Fast talk, not the forte here. How should we round stop? Oh wait, try this. Okay, hey bro. At least he's not mashing drive impact up. Oh, okay, now he is. But after my triple impact combo. Yeah, cool. So I can go for my... Oh, no. That's the unfortunate thing about his target combo. The second hit is not cancelable. So you have to do the full thing before you can... Cancel into... Something that will be a drive impact. Oh, yeah. Okay, we got perfects now. Now that we go online and I'm not trying to show things off <laughs> in training mode, somehow now I can actually land the perfects. Because that makes so much sense. Damn, look at these perfects. Oh. That was unintentional, but I'll pretend like it was. No. Oh, no! Okay, I should save doing something risky like that for when I have a level 3. If I can actually... I can save, or I can just do it now. Since he's so scared. Cool. Luke's a pretty simple character, so it shouldn't be too hard to pick him up for anyone. But I think it's also probably down to the fact that I have played with him a little bit in the demo. I am going to try and do a bunch of random stuff to, you know, be a little bit experimental. Oh wow, that actually combos. If there's ever a time to be experimental when you're planning playing random casual matches in day negative 13. No! Jump again, I dare you. Or not. His name is. His title is Street Fighter 4 fan? Okay. How should we start? Maybe let's just start with the drive impact. Oh. What you doing there? Ouch. Hey, what? Oh yeah, great punish there, Mr. Alpro, man. Okay. I was just testing on that hitbox on that crouching heavy punch. It's pretty abysmal. You can really only use it in combos. Oh no! Crap. <laughs> it's okay, we've got plenty of life. Let's wake up with armor and see if he does something. Booyah! Man, this guy's pretty fun. He's a really good, um... I guess, I guess that's what a Shoto is. He's a mixture of being uh, extremely simple, but to the point that it makes him easy to pick up, but there's lots you can do with him. So you can easily start playing, just do a bunch of things, throw a projectile, he's got decent buttons enough to play the game, he's got some decently easy combo routes. But there's a bunch of other stuff you can experiment with, like trying different ways of going for pressures, trying some riskier ways of going for pressure, or some harder to go for combos with the perfects and whatever. I think video game developers are getting better and better at 
that easy to pick up, hard to master thing they've been aiming for for ages. Hey! Oh god, I did not mean to do that drive impact. That was meant to be my parry, but I've changed the buttons for them recently and I sometimes change them up, uh, get them wrong accidentally. Not on my watch. Uh, or, I guess so on my watch. You ready for this? Freak up TP. Works up every time. No! Should be more intentional about which buttons I use to punish, because I can use my. If I use my, what? Standing heavy punch, I get a pretty good counter. How should we round start? Just try jumping? Ooh. Ooh, does not reach as far as I expect it to. Ooh, into the level 2. Okay, okay. Hit confirms are so satisfying when you actually do them. That's my thing. That armor is really fun. It is pretty... I don't know how actually good it is because it's only one hit and it slows down his run, so it makes it pretty hard to punish most projectiles, but it's so fun to use. We're going pretty well there with the pressure for a bit. <laughs> and as soon as it goes wrong, wake up DP. Oops. Nice, he's doing a good job of reacting to that. Yeah, I should also be more conscious about what I whiff punish with, not just punish. usually work. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. No, I tried to level one super. Come on, yeah! The extra block sun from the drive impact. Made it so I could go for it twice in a row. Ah, uh, yeah. Grub mode activate. Oh, yeah. Bro, his outro was hum somehow simultaneously really cool and really not cool at the same time, but I, I think it's perfect for him. He's meant to be kind of like a cheesy character, right? Like the kind of guy that every 10 year old thinks is really cool. Ooh, tried to reset some pressure there, but he made sure to poke me out of it. Oh, I 
thought that was going to be a wall splat. Oops. Nice reaction this time. I don't know why I'm so trigger happy on this drive impact suddenly. He's not meant to be rising uppercut. Yeah, it was gonna be scrubby either way. I was trying to mash my level one super for when he takes his turn back. Trying to throw loop me? Drive meter back, finally. No, I couldn't cancel it. God damn it. Got a little bit too greedy with my plus frames. One more match? Okay. What a good sportsman. It worked. Whoa, he like scooped down and hit him off the floor. That's kind of cool. Oh, that was punishable. God damn it. <laughs> wow, great pressure there. Whoa. Whoa, he didn't know what to do. I was just all over him. <laughs> to be better at hit confirming when stuff like that hits because then I actually get a knockdown for my little pokes no ma'am oh, but I was far away enough nice doing that it's not working this will to madness what a cool guy questionably It's a good matchup knowledge. We're getting a fight against basically every character in the beta. How will she round start? Surely it can't beat my armor. Ow. 
trying to be a little bit more reckless with my pressure to see how good it is. Oh, that actually worked. Wow, that standing medium punch is so good. It even recovers fast enough to beat a drive impact. That's kind of crazy. Not bad. Round two. Should we try jumping? She really just went in as soon as that was done. Nicely done. Oh, that hits her out of the air. Okay, that's going to be really good in this matchup because she loves to be in the air. Damn it. That's the end. Or not. What? No, not level one. Should have done level two. <laughs> dead. No, not dead. Why am I still alive? I don't deserve to be here. Uh, I'm gonna give that victory to her. I did a lot of stupid stuff there and wasted a lot of time because I couldn't think of what to do. And somehow I managed to pull out the victory. Oh, overhead clip there. Oh, what just happened? Okay, she burned herself out for a throw. That could be kind of good for us. Okay, cool. It was good. We got to, we got to do some real stupid pressure with all of our addiction to plus frames. deleted the projectile we got to see it in action nice punish oh 
Oh, nice. This again. Can this kill? Will this kill, I mean? I think so. Nice, wow. Gotta make sure I spend mine next round as well. I haven't been going into it very well. I think I should do more drive rush stuff. I've kind of just been doing buttons into buttons into specials and... Nice. me. Okay, well at least she's in burnout I guess, but I'm also nearly dead. I'm fully dead. Ah, oh, nice. Okay, so we get one more rematch. Surely. See, we play Chun Li. Oh, it's a ranked match. It doesn't matter. Okay, cool, cool, cool. jumps a lot and I'm not anti-airing her. I think that's a problem that I'm only just now noticing for some reason. And I also am not going for many throws. So let's fix that all. Where did the special that comes after that go? Okay, cool. Oh, punish counter, nice. A little bit of small fumbles there, but not enough that we lost. more. I guess I should drive rush after that if I want. Yeah, I can go for some strike throw stuff. <gasps> no, not intentional, not intentional, obviously. Uh. Nice, wow. Okay. She's good at landing her Chun-Li combos when she gets a guaranteed hit. <laughs> then after she gets the level 3, she somehow cashes out perfectly to go wild on top of the unit, and it works. Ooh, nice! Oh, I could have gone that into my level 3. out of here. Get me out of here. No. That was the last match, huh? No. I wish it was a casual match. I want to do another rematch, please. No. Here comes a new <laughs> okay. Really? They're, they're like, you want to fight the entire cast? Let me show you the entire cast. They're like, well, you still haven't fought against a guile yet. And maybe I was wishing for that. So... That's kind of mean. I don't know if I want to do this. Let's try. Okay. Okay.
Actually, it's not to me out of the air. Nice job. No, how did that drop? So rude. Ouch. Questionable, questionable. <gasps> Ow. Oh, wet. Oh, God. Wait, we lost. I need to be a little less complacent in my <laughs> YOLO wing at the end of matches. I thought I got the first round. Whoops. Delusion. Okay. Let's focus. Let's try hard. And. Beat his ass. Easy punish count. We got that. Oh yeah. Don't go for that. He's gonna do a lot of flash kicks. Ooh, got him burnt out by faking him out with the short projectile. He's still gonna go crazy. Okay. I think when we're close to him, we either just have to do a jump medium kick for when he jumps towards me to try and air to air him, or just block low because they love doing that sweep. Yes! Oh, I love this hitting from guys. I'm gonna say that every time I hit it. I love it. It's the best. It's so satisfying. Ouch. I thought that was gonna be a cross-up for sure. <gasps> no! No! Ah! <laughs> Damn it! I had so much drive meter. Could have played a little bit more patiently in one. put three brain cells together, we managed to be a little bit concentrated enough to win. Is this the final match? 1-1. One, one. Gotta make sure we win this last one. We can do this. Oop. Oh. Don't know why I didn't finish that attack string there. Jump over that DP. Nope, don't punish me. Come on, yes. Oh. Thank God it hit his dash. The guy player was playing so weird compared to the guiles I'm used to playing. It's really freaking me out. Ouch. Ah. That wasn't me. I'm bothering to spend meter on those. <clears throat> I 
No. Boom. I don't know why I was spending meter doing my OD uh, sandblast just to keep myself safe. It's not like people were interrupting me. It was just kind of a waste of meter. But I think we have reached the end <laughs> of the amount of sets that we need to do this video to prove the fact that, hey, I think we've learned Luke and I think we can play him pretty efficiently now to a decent extent. It's not like it was very hard. He's a pretty simple character, but we got some combos. We were able to do his, his zoning and his footsies pretty okay, and I, I'll take this as a win. So, hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in whatever the next one is. Bye-bye.